Hi everybody, Mark at the Hall of Flame Museum of Firefighting. We're going to do a little story time today. And today's story is called Fire Dog. Fire Dog by Lee Julian, illustrated by Charles Clement. In the village firehouse where the shiny red fire engines are kept lived Dally the Dalmatian. Dally was a big white dog with black spots. The firemen, who were Dally's best friends, built him a little firehouse with a real bell on top. He slept there at night. Once in a while, Dally got into mischief. When a fireman said to Dally in a low tone of voice, Bad dog, Dally, bad dog, go lie down. Dally obeyed at once and hid under a chair. When anyone spoke to him in this way, Dally looked very sad indeed. He loved all of the firemen, and he really didn't want to do anything that would make any of them unhappy. When the fire alarm bell rang, clang, 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 Dally dashed for the front seat of the biggest hook and ladder fire truck. Before the driver started the noisy motor, Dally was always in his place and ready to do what he enjoyed most, riding to a fire. One hot, sticky afternoon, the firemen were taking naps. They were fast asleep on their cots, which were placed in a straight line on the second floor of the firehouse. Each fireman had placed his pair of rubber boots beside his bed. If the alarm bell rang while he slept, the firefighter would know exactly where he could find them without delay. Because there was no one to play with him, Dally felt very lonesome. He walked slowly from bed to bed, eagerly hoping one of the firemen would get up so that he would have some company. But the only thing they did was snore. Then Dally noticed the boots and he thought, I'll have some fun with my friends. He put one of Bill Brown's boots under the table. He dropped one of Ed McKeever's boots beside the stairs. And he carried one of Joe Brewer's boots outside behind the firehouse. He had one of the fire chief's new boots in his mouth when clang, 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 the alarm bell began to ring. Each fireman leaped from his bed. Hey, shouted Bill Brown, who took my boot? I'm missing a boot too, yelled Ed McKeever. So am I, said fireman Joe Brewer. The fire chief was just about to say one of mine is gone when he saw Dally drop the boot and race down the stairs on the way to the big hook and ladder. The fire chief grabbed his boot, and as he put it on, he hollered, Dally took your boots, men. That bad dog, I'll fix him when we come back from the fire. The men were too busy to do anything then, but they were really very angry at Dally. Ed, Bill, and Joe raced wildly around the firehouse, searching for their hidden boots. What Dally had thought to be a little game was no joke to the firemen. Every second counts when they are on their way to fight a fire. All the men hurried to their places. Joe Brewer could not find his boot, which Dally had hidden outdoors behind the firehouse. Dally was sitting in his usual seat on the beautiful long hook and ladder. The driver was Joe Brewer, and he was even more angry than the others when he saw Dally. Get off, you bad dog, Joe shouted. Bad dogs don't go to fires. Go lie down. Bad dog, go lie down. With that, the furious fireman pushed Dally off the engine and sent the big truck roaring out into the street. Dally sat down before his firehouse and whined a long, sorrowful howl. This was the first time since he was a puppy that he had not ridden to a fire. Then he thought of Joe Brewer's boot hidden behind the firehouse. He dashed madly out of the firehouse picked up the boot in his teeth, and galloped at full speed after the noisy engine. The boys and girls along the way heard the sirens. Ree, ree, ree. And they all ran out of doors to watch the fire trucks roar past. They laughed when they saw Dally running lickety split after the engines. Skidding around the corner of Elm Street, Dally could smell the smoke. The engines came to a quick stop before a burning house. 
By this time, Dally was panting hard, and the boot slipped from his mouth. He stopped short, ran back and picked it up, then sped to the firemen who were busily unloading hose from the engines. Joe was not happy to be doing his work wearing only one boot, and he muttered, wait until I get back, that bad dog. Just then, Dally trotted to Joe and placed the boot beside his stockinged foot. What's this, said Joe, my boot. Dally, you good old boy. Then Joe ran to help the other firemen who were spraying a big stream of water on the crackling flames of the burning house. Joe had no time now to talk to Dally. He had to do his work to save the burning building. The firemen worked hard. Dally stood close by, ready to help whenever the men called. Once, when Joe Brewer passed by, he patted Dally's head. After the fire was all out, the firemen put their axes and hose and nozzles back into the fire trucks. Dally stood by and watched. Joe climbed into the driver's seat. He looked down at Dally, anxiously waiting. All right, said Joe, come on up, you're forgiven. You are a good dog to bring me my boot. With a happy bark and a wag of his tail, Dally jumped to his usual place and rode proudly back to the engine house. Even now, when the fire alarm bell begins to ring, clang, 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 Dally hurries to his usual place, ready to ride to the fire. But he has never since tried to play hide the boot. So that's our story for today, Fire Dog. Really appreciate you guys stopping by and come and check with us again for another story time soon here at the Hall of Flame Museum YouTube channel. I'm Mark at the Hall of Flame. Bye-bye.